Virgo, hi. Uh, Maya here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this is your love reading for October 2021. I'm still doing uh, the next month uh, readings, uh, but because they, they still go uh, until the end of the year, so I, start, I thought I'd start on the love readings for October now. So let's uh, get right into it. So I'm going to start with a, a quick pass spread to assess energies as we're coming into October and then I'll do a spread for you and one for your person. So Virgo, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. Wow. So, I'm seeing here uh, a relationship that is really balanced, uh, that is really uh, built on a solid foundation, um, and that is uh, basically getting to a higher level of commitment, absolutely. With the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, it is uh, something solid, Virgo, something that you can count on. It's harmonious with the Six here. It is. It has equal give and take. Um, it has balance, uh, it is solid, as I said, earth energy, it is grounded and uh, it is built on a solid foundation with the Three of Pentacles, there's teamwork, uh, there's collaboration, uh, you guys have created a sacred space for you guys, uh, here literally this couple coming to uh, build a sacred uh, temple or a cathedral, or, you know, a sacred space uh, with this architect, so it's like you are really building something uh, that is uh, on a very solid foundation here. Um, it's like you've integrated the light and the dark. It's it's um, with the high priestess. You have a very deep knowing about uh, your person, and your person has a deep knowing about you. Uh, you've revealed truth uh, to each other. You feel at a very deep level that um, this is something uh, that is long-term, that satisfies you emotionally all the way. Uh, really, rainbow blessings on this couple with the Ten of Cups. There's a celebration that is uh, coming in, maybe getting to a higher level of commitment here because it is uh, this uh, love ha is, has been built on such a solid foundation that maybe uh, you are you guys are thinking of uh, maybe um, you know moving in together, engagement, even marriage. It's 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 you you're basically celebrating your love here, and it's beautiful. So so far so good. I'd say Virgo for the past spread. <clears throat> now I do spread your spread on the right hand side and your person spread on the left. Please feel free to switch sides as it is interchangeable and it's not gender specific. And uh, please remember it's a general reading so it might not resonate all the way, maybe not at all. So take what resonates for you. So, Virgo, the way you're showing in October is the Three of Cups again. Uh, the way you feel about your person is the Five of Swords. The way you think of them is the Nine of Swords in reverse. And the way uh, you feel about the whole situation is the Three of Pentacles. So let me get a clarifier for the Five. bottom of the deck you have the world. Now I'll do your person with a different deck to see mirroring energies between you guys if there are any. The way <coughs> your person is showing up is the King of um, Pentacles. The way they feel about you is peace, death in this deck, peace. The way uh, they think of you is justice, card of Libra. And the way they feel about the whole situation is the world. 
Wow, uh, three major arcana on your person's side, and uh, you have the world as a ma major mirroring energy between you guys. So you guys are wrapping up a big cycle here in this relationship. I'm feeling a pre-existing relationship, and they have the two of Michael, the two of swords. I'm feeling a pre-existing relationship here that has gone through a lot of upheaval, uh, you know, However, you guys are ready uh, to get to the next level, as I said. Uh, Taurus, uh, you are showing up as the Three of Cups. So as we saw, again, the Three of Cups showing up. So there's some kind of that celebration with loved ones uh, about this relationship. And you have two threes with the Three of Pentacles showing up again. So it's like after this upheaval that happened between you guys in the past, something happened in the past uh, that... Um, uh, you had to overcome uh, with uh, your person and now you feel that it's time uh, to celebrate this love again uh, to wrap up this cycle basically uh, that happened between you guys and start a new one uh, that is based on a, a complete breakthrough uh, in the mental body aha moments epiphanies that you've had about each other and it's leading you to the Ten of Pentacles, so to something that is very stable, very long-lasting, generational, uh, the Legacy card. And it's like, after whatever happened between you guys, uh, that was an upheaval that I can see here with the Five of Swords in the way you feel about them. So there was conflict, there were uh, ego-based energies, you know, like uh, it happens in, in, in any... Um, in any partnership basically but it looks like at one point you had a lot of conflicts you uh, a lot of upheaval in this relationship where somebody wanted to win at all costs um, somebody was a jerk basically and it led you to isolate to uh, maybe uh, take a few steps back uh, to um, you know um, regroup basically and uh, just uh, look for answers within uh, with the Hermit card of Virgo uh, to integrate whatever uh, shadow aspects were coming up uh, with the High Priestess. Uh, you, there was, there was, you know, some kind of contrasting energy between you guys. <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, this conflict brought up, uh, you know, contrasting energies uh, showing you what you want, what you don't want. And maybe at a certain point, this relationship was on the brink of completely breaking up, or maybe it had bro broken up, or at least been at a very uh, a big emotional distance. However, you uh, you miss them. You want uh, with the six of cups. They, you know that they are your person. You know that there's very innocent, very unconditional love between you guys. Um, whatever happened. Uh, made you, f uh, you know, fear uh, this relationship, made you, um, you know, you know, have sleepless nights, worry uh, if 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 it was uh, meant, to, uh, if it was actually meant to be, or if this was really uh, the person that you needed to be with. Uh, but you know, in reverse, it's like you over overcame all this worry, all these fears, uh, all these anxieties around what happened, and you're like, uh, you know. Um, wanting uh, this this innocence this there's a very pure love between you and your person and you know that um, and the way you feel about the whole situation is the three of pentacles so again you are willing to collaborate here you are willing for teamwork you are you want to build something very solid with your person and as i said it is uh it has to do with a very big breakthrough. It's like whatever happened between you guys um, only um, served to uh, strengthen the, the bond that you guys have together. It's like uh, whatever doesn't kill you uh, only makes you stronger. This is what happened with this relationship, I feel. It, it, whatever happened between you guys didn't, didn't kill the relationship. It, it made it stronger. It took time. It took effort. Uh, it took uh, teamwork, but you guys only got stronger and are wrapping up this cycle and a new cycle coming in, uh, going to this Ten of uh, Pentacles. And you had the Ten of Cups in your past spread, so uh, going to something extremely solid, uh, as we saw. On your person's side, we have uh, they're showing up as the King of Pentacles, so they are loyal. Whatever happened between you guys, 
uh, that uh, you know this upheaval that happened uh, they uh, are still lo they were still loyal to you they still had your back uh, or if they didn't at the time well now they do <laughs> uh, they learned the lesson and they absolutely have their, your back they're extremely solid uh, earth energy uh, so they could be another Virgo uh, or Capricorn or Taurus and uh, your plans are working out very well professional and financial success using resources wisely yes you know the king of uh, pentacles again not gender specific is somebody that you can rely on very savvy business person somebody who knows how to invest uh, somebody who is devoted loyal uh, who uh, gives time and effort to things uh, that they you know they nurture uh, things they uh, uh, he, he he's extremely solid right and that's how your person is showing up for you in October, really wanting to show you how solid they are, how how loyal they are about you, whatever happened in the past. And they have um, three major arcana. So in the way they feel about you, they have death. So this, this transformation that happened in this relationship uh, that I feel happened... Uh, I'm sorry, my dog wants to come in. I'll just let her in. Just a second. Sorry, Taurus. Uh, Virgo. <laughs> Here we are. Again. So, yeah, peace. They've attained peace. They've attained... They have accomplished this transformation. As I said, whatever happened between you guys, this upheaval that happened in the past, it only served uh, to um, show your person and you uh, that... Um, you are all about each other, you know, instead of harming uh, the relationship, even if it, the relationship was harmed for a while, it led to um, uh, this transformation uh, between you guys of really knowing what you want that you don't want in your relationship. It's like, you know, uh, sometimes we need contrast, sometimes we, ne we need to see the dark, to, to, to be in the dark, to see the light. And that's what happened between you guys. This contrast happened for you guys to really affect this transformation and get to um, this this very solid space that you find yourselves in in, in October. The way they feel about you is justice. So this, uh, rega this they regain their balance, this restoration of balance in the situation, truth coming out. And just, you know, balancing of energies between you guys. Uh, Major Arcana, Card of Libra. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So your person never give up on you. And I don't think uh, you give up on them either. Um, none of you give up, basically. And you just uh, now are at the time where you can uh, reap the rewards. Uh, you know, get to basically the best place uh, that you've been at in this relationship uh, since uh, the beginning. And uh, the way they feel about the whole situation, they have the world. Um, you know, it's uh, a major mirror energy between you guys here. So again, wrapping up this, uh, this big cycle uh, that you had together, this transformation, you know, that made you uh, get to this very solid space between you guys. Now it's being wrapped up and you guys are completely starting anew here. A beautiful new uh, cycle is starting in this relationship. This card says, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. Absolutely, that is what happened, you know. Now it's the, very, it's the happy ending that you guys are celebrating. This higher level of commitment that you're getting to, coming full circle after this upheaval that happened in the past. And spiritual growth and insight, this is exactly what happened to each uh, one of you. To each of you, so that you can, um, uh, sorry, so um, my dog is really distracting me, sorry Virgo, spiritual growth and insight, yeah, this is what happened between you guys, it's each one uh, had their own uh, awakening, their own uh, expansion uh, in, in their consciousness, and that's why you are getting back to this uh, together uh, in such a solid space basically if I'm making myself clear 
So now I'm going to get you guys a potential outcome for October. Sorry, my dog keeps on coming in <laughs> and wanting to go out again. All right. You have the Ten of Cups again. Wow. The Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. And the Moon. And the Two of Cups. Wow. Yes, Virgo, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So, yes, um, whatever upheaval happened in the past, for me, uh, this is, uh, you know, this is absolutely uh, your uh, element here, uh, pentacles, Virgo, earth, energy. So whatever upheaval happened in the past, I feel, between you guys, is for each one of you to get to their own self-realization, uh, their own self-independence and uh, sufficiency. It's like you needed uh, this upheav upheaval to happen, for you guys on their own, each one on their own to get to their self-realization. And um, and for a, a while this, you know, led to subconscious fears to come up to the surface to be healed. But now it's time for this beautiful, uh, passionate communication, passionate movement forward between you guys, this higher level of commitment, leading you to the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. So a completely healed, beautiful soul bond here that is uh, uh, satisfying you completely all the way uh, in your emotional um, in your emotional bodies basically and just this beautiful uh, rainbow uh, blessings on you guys uh, with the two of cups and the ten of cups so uh, thank you for being here Virgo I hope this helped and I'll see you soon bye